Kenny O'Flaherty and Michael McDonald. So we we tossed a coin, and um, I lost, so I'm starting. Um, is anybody warm? Or is it just me? Yeah. <coughs> okay. There's, there's, a, there's a lady here who said she would sell me a lock of her hair. That uh, I won't tell you who it is, but you know. <laughs> More than a lot. Uh, <laughs> there's always one. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm from Scotland. We can take it. We took on the English, the Romans. You know, come on, yeah. bring it on. <laughs> so, what can I say other than um, I'm Michael McMillan? I'm from Glasgow in Scotland. I come to the United States six months every year, tour around. Um, legally, in case anybody's in a, in, a, in a formal capacity tonight, Mr. Mayor. So, um, I have a visa, I have all the bits and pieces. Um, I have bagpipes, which I'm going to play at the very end. Michael, Michael, before you do, we have a special gentleman that's sitting in front of you that wanted to tell you guys something from the city walks at you. So, David? Okay. That's my cue, right? <laughs> oh, is there anybody else I should know about before I play the first song? <laughs> okay. okay. But, but he told me to introduce both of you, but he just did that, right? He did. So the only thing I can do as a mayor of Waxahachie is make you honorary uh, oh. mayors. Oh. Uh, oh. oh. You have no more authority than I do, which isn't a lot. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, we're glad you're here in uh, Thank you, and it's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much. So, um, yes, anybody else would like to say anything? Because, um, yeah. Oh, there's one. We will play some songs that will bring you laughter. <laughs> Tears, and we'll tell you stories about life. Um, we are not a novelty act. We're not leprechauns, and I don't know. I was in uh, Bankersmith in Texas, and this lady came up to me. She went, "Do you have black people in Scotland?" <laughs> I said to her, "We even have telephones now." And she said, "Really?" <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you think Scotland's like, but anyway. <laughs> so. The first song I'm going to do, um, and I won't talk anymore because I'm eating into Danny's time here. No, no, you're not. Um, this song um, did well for me. It sat at number one in the UK and Irish charts for about six weeks in a row. And I got a big royalty check before I came over here for um, $47.23. So tell your children, stick in, be a musician. Uh, <laughs> This is called First Impressions, and you never get a second chance to make a first impression, as you're just about to find out. You'll never get a second dance if you stand on her toes. You will never get a second glance standing in those clothes. Always try to look just right Oh, you'll be the one that's left tonight If you want to set the world alight You better learn one lesson You'll never get a second chance To make a first impression Can you turn the guitar down a bit? All the pretty girls Hanging on your every move Thank you Hoping that you'll click together like tongue and groove Take that loser's look off your face Or you won't get to second base It's not the race but the finish line that we base success on You'll never get a second chance to make a first impression First impressions count you better leave her in no doubt You won't get a second chance You better grab it with both hands Just 
stand up tall and look her straight in the eye and hope that she can see you're a stand up guy if you play it straight from the start you'll be walking home with that lady's heart don't hold anything back never leave her guessing you'll never get a second chance to make a first impression No, you'll never get a second chance to make a first impression. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> could, I, could I possibly have a wee bit more vocal in the monitor and a bit less guitar? Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Michael. I'm going to tell my Irish joke now. You go on. No, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, <clears throat> Michael and myself, uh, we were uh, down last week and down in um, Pensacola. Um, we were there was a singer songwriter festival going on there, um, uh, <coughs> from all over the world, mind you, and. Um, we had a wonderful night together doing songs and stories and and um, it was a lot of fun ab- absolutely and uh, we sh- we wish we'd had the second night but we were then separated to different places to go and but it was a lot of fun but i like to um it's, it's it's nice to be back with you michael on stage and you sir thank you thank you so much He's a gentleman, he really is. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's a question earlier. Some folks were asking about Scotch Irish. The history about the Scotch Irish it basically goes back to the Battle of the Boyne in 1692. And after uh, it was all over, uh, a lot of Scottish people came into Ulster to 30 year lease, including Puritans and Anglans came into Ulster. And after t- leasing the place after 60 years, the Scottish decided, well, <laughs> there's too much conflict going on here, let's go to America. And they came before pre-revolution because most of them became part of George Washington's army and they were termed Scotch-Irish. So the term Scotch-Irish comes from, they're from Scotland to Ireland after 60, 70 years in Ireland, then come to America with the original 13 colonies and probably 60-70% of the George Washington and the Continental Army was Irish and Scottish. Yeah. So, so. Yeah. Uh, growing up uh, in the Gaelic region of Ireland, uh, <clears throat> I was, I suppose, uh, blessed to be uh, in that time zone. Uh, my my grandmother Mamo, we call her in Gaelic Mamo, and my uncle Mike, uh, they we, every as a young child growing up on the Iron Islands, and they they would make uh, it was a small little farm and they had the spinning wheel, they had we had homemade butter and buttermilk and the whole lot. We we just lived off the land, and then all of a sudden, years and years later, and. <coughs> The spinning wheel was replaced by a television (laughs) (laughs) when electricity came about. So this song is about that. There used to be a spinning wheel where the TV stands. There used to be a spinning wheel where the TV stands. A blacksmith used to work with his heavy hands. Computers hum, we kiss, turn on, we never understand. There used to be a spinning wheel where the TV stands. Progress is like plastic, it isn't built to last. Tomorrow, like sorrow, always happens fast. Evolution, revolution is often hard to grasp. But what is now the answer? Are we afraid to ask? Ah, there used to be a spinning wheel where the TV stands. A blacksmith used to work with his heavy hands. Computers hum, we kiss and run, we never understand. There used to be a spinning wheel where the TV stands. The change is gonna come. It was written in the wind. A lot of stones got done. 
but what did we really win? Eternity was always here, cause has always been. We wonder about the end, but where did we begin? Ah, there used to be a spinning wheel where the TV stands. A blacksmith used to work with his heavy hands. Computers hung, we kiss and run, we never understand. There used to be a spinning wheel where the TV stands. Modern man is all alone in the universe. Studies hard, all the time important to rehearse. Liberated ladies, alone since their birth. They do live the cannon writing in their hearse. Ah, they used to be the spinning wheel where the TV stands. A blacksmith used to work with his heavy hands. Computers hung, we kiss and love, we never understand. They used to be a spinning wheel where the TV stands. Okay, so I've, I've seen some people giving it all this. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, yeah, it's, I don't do songs like that. <laughs> so, if you're expecting a wee dancey, I don't do these songs. So, a confession. Um, anybody holding any sharp objects? No, that's fine. Um, I used to be a police officer, and I worked in the yeah, hard to believe, I know. And I worked in initially in the Highlands of Scotland, up in Inverness and round the area, and then I transferred to the Serious Crime Squad in Edinburgh from my sins. And um, after that. I left and became an addictions counsellor for 15 years, working in the prisons and the community. So that kind of gave me the bulk of the material that I write about, about life and stuff. So it's not really sing-along happy stuff. I've got some, I've got a happy song, which I will do. I will do. But um, I want you, you'll know what wanted posters are. You've seen wanted posters, but okay. So I used to think about these wanted posters and think, you really wouldn't want the people in these posters. Do you know, you really wouldn't. You know, I don't know why they call them wanted, because they're really... <laughs> um, but I noticed last 2021, the FBI published figures, and there are over 300,000 runaway children in the United States. And that's a lot. So I, I thought there should be unwanted posters up everywhere, on gantries and on highways and everywhere. And if you see these kids or, or people, go and give them a big hug get them some food, bring them to a Michael McMillan concert, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, so this is called Unwanted. Um, it's not a sing-along song, okay. So. <laughs> go, go dancing. Even the city has its seasons And autumn people turn to grey through lonely summers, some are lonely Winter winds blow them away Like leaves that gather uninvited From down below he looks above He could see the way they live life He just wondered if they loved He had learned his lesson early Poverty begins at home Methadone was in his madness As he wandered all alone Looking at unwanted posters Of unwanted souls Unwanted lovers playing unwanted roles Unwanted hate Unwanted pain Unwanted children Unwanted again Every man there is in prison There are others doing the time Mothers, fathers, sisters, lovers Children living on the line Don't you know this is our country You boast about its reputation But the way we treat each other it's an ununited nation 
It's a diminishing republic Not for poor or sick or old All the young who are downtrodden And those left out in the cold Looking at unwanted posters Unwanted souls Unwanted lovers playing unwanted roles Unwanted hate children unwanted again unwanted again mm. oh. <clears throat> that brought the tone down a bit sorry about that yes, I like that a lot I'd like to um, this time do a song that a sort of um it's going back to the time of the uh, Depression. And um, as we all know, <laughs> we're a very young country, and um, we depended a lot on the sons and daughters that had migrated to, to the, across the Atlantic for the past 500 years. And uh, certainly Ireland itself was... Uh, when I was growing up, it was only 30 years old after, you know, years... Uh, years and uh, hundreds of years without uh, uh, having our own destination of what we wanted to be ourselves. But so we relied a lot on p people who migrated to different parts of the world. We, they had to, no choice but to leave. But they were, they never forgot uh, the old, the old sod, as they say. They never forgot the old sod. They would send money back home and to to the families, and that's that's what immigrants do. They send money home to help the others or keep a roof in the house or whatever like that. So when the Depression came in 29, <coughs> was it 29 here in America? Those letters stopped coming. The money was not going in the letters, and people were, you know, in desperate need uh, to to make a living uh, because they depended on the mer on money coming from uh, the states and other places, you know. So this song is about, and the song is called Highways uh, to Hope. And that's, at the end of the day, that's, that's what we all have left in this, this hope, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Let her stop coming from lands far away. No money was sent, there's nothing to say And the colors of rocks turned blood red on sunset We searched for answers from Cork to Gildare On the highways to hope we traveled and rambled On the highways to hope to brushes and brambles On the highways to hope we prayed and we gambled we lived and we died on the highways to hope. The rumors were flying from Galway to Sligo. No shelter, no welcome, no place for to stay. And the sounds of Sunday turn ice white on Monday. We searched for answers from Leitrim to Clare. On the highways to hope, we traveled and rambled On the highways to hope To brushes and brambles On the highways to hope We prayed and we gambled We lived and we died On the highways to hope The stories were crazy from Wexford to Terry. No reason this season I set to be bright. And the needs of money turned bright in the moonlight. We searched for ourselves back home to Kilbride. 
On the highways to hope we traveled and rambled. On the highways to hope to brushes and brambles. On the highways to hope we prayed and we gambled. We lived and we died on the highways to hope. On the highways to hope we traveled and rambled. On the highways to hope to brushes and brambles. On the highways to hope we prayed and we gambled. We lived and we died on the highways to hope. Interesting what you're saying about um, the depression and all that kind of stuff. And I was reading a wee bit about American history, and there was prohibition. So I can understand why there was a depression, you know. So <laughs> I can kind of, you know, yeah, probably, you know, yeah, probably not connected. Um, but we haven't actually rehearsed or set what we're going to do. No, but this, don't um, have a clue. This fits well. <laughs> so um, my great grandparents' fathers fought in the First World War. And they were in the, the Western Front uh, and um, didn't come back from that. And um, this is also a song. <clears throat> in Glasgow, there's a... Anybody been to Scotland? Yeah, quite a few. Good, good. Have you been to Scotland? Okay, that's okay. Good, good. Whereabouts? <laughs> Whereabouts did you go? No, we haven't been to Scotland. Let me try this again. We, we, uh, we're signed up for a trip. Good. So you're going. Going. Good. Yes. Right. Good. That's good. That's good. Um, <laughs> good. My kids have their own kilts. They're right. Buchanan's. I can imagine how they feel at school wearing them. Like mom, you gotta go. No, you'll love it. You'll love it. <clears throat> but the, well, if you get to Glasgow, there's a big long road called the Great Western Road, and it runs from the centre of Glasgow right down to Loch Lomond, and the River Clyde runs along the side of it. And during the Second World War, the shipyards were on the Clyde. And my, both my grandparents, grandfathers worked in the shipyards. Um, and the German Air Force, the Luftwaffe, used to try and bomb the shipyards. But from the air, the Great Western Road looked like the river. So a lot of the houses got bombed. Yeah, it's funny. You're laughing. That's not funny. That's not funny. <laughs> Some of them still get bombed, but that's a different story. Um, uh, <laughs> saved you, uh, but uh, no. So it's also about our my fellow Scotsman's travels to the Americas and their journey from the east coast to the west coast. Bless you. Um, anybody had COVID before? <laughs> <laughs> well, now, now's your night. We bring it all. This is called. This is called. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. This is called the Great Western Road. She watched her sunrise every morning A sunset in his father's ways An angel with the devil's hands But a fighter all his days She waits beside the window But deep inside her heart she knows He's searching for salvation Somewhere on the Great Western Road She prayed the Lord would keep him Bring him peace Keep him safe and bring him home Let him know he wasn't facing Every single battle on his own He told her that he loved her, that he 
was fine But in his eyes the sadness showed Now he's reaching for redemption Somewhere on the great western road But a war does not determine who is right Just who is left Who the winners or the losers are Well it's anybody's guess And he heard a preacher saying let Jesus share your load But he can't remember seeing him On the great western road She watched her sunrise every morning A sunset in his father's ways An angel with the devil's hands Fighter all his days Now he waits beside the window But deep inside her heart she knows That one day he'll find forgiveness On the great western road And she prays he'll find forgiveness Somewhere on the great western road Thank you Whoops Slange Slange <laughs> Thank you so very much uh, Michael That was lovely Thank, Thank you Thank you so much We're going to kind of stay in the same kind of theme A little bit different but um, so, uh, I was I got involved uh, in a project. Uh, my co-writer and myself, uh, for it took us two and a half years to write uh, the Canadian uh, story about not well. They were not Newfoundland was not still part of Canada until nineteen, I think forty nine. I believe it became part of the Federation of Canada. And uh, so a lot of back in the First World War, uh, uh, a lot of them were. Uh, went over to France, went to England first and then training and went over to France and we all, in, we know our history, we know the the trench war in France is, is a lot of similarities are going on today on the eastern front of Ukraine with the Russians and uh, it's like going back a hundred years the trench war that, that's going on there and uh, so seemingly uh, things don't change that much, you know. But there's a story about this father and mother uh, from uh, Newfoundland. Um, he was drafted to go into into or to Somme, the Battle of the Somme in France. And uh, he apparently uh, uh, left his wife and children behind. And... Uh, and back in those days, uh, there were letters going back and forth. If they were, it would take weeks and weeks for them to to get the letters. But but uh, they remember when they were a young uh, married couple and having children. Uh, they wrote a song together uh, for the children uh, when they would wake up from their sleep uh, from bad dreams or or um, thunder, lightning, whatever, and they would sing them back to sleep with a song. And all of a sudden, now he's. He's out on the front lines uh, uh, in Somme, in, in France, and uh, he sees uh, young uh, young uh, ch kids uh, dying uh, from from the war. And back in those days, there was no age limit in the sense there was a lot of people, a lot of 14, 16-year-olds um, were fighting in, in the uniform. And as they were in America as well, they, they didn't, some of them would lie about their age. You know, they would just, I know some people that, that want to. Some to, still do. They still do, they lie. <laughs> so so all of a sudden he's confronted with this and he writes back to his, to his wife and says that the song that we, we wrote together, I'm singing those songs to this young, young, young man on, on, on on the battlefront, they're either wounded or die or or died. 
so this is it. The lullaby that you and I sang to our babies dear, the one we wrote together, love, to drive away their fears. At night, when they would waken with dreams that made them cry, when thunder crashed and lightning flashed. Across the evening sky, I sang it to the soldiers dear, all through the night and day. When we went to seek the fallen and the dying where they lay, but most of them so young, my love. So cold upon the clay, the innocence of God was on the battlefield that day. They were boy soldiers, sang the lullaby at sum. They were boy soldiers. They never will go home. They were boy soldiers, so fair, so young they die, calling for their mother as they die. So young and fair, and pure of heart, so gallantly they died. They fought for honor, for a cause that the light would leave their eyes. Their courage and their dignity it shook me to the bone. Some were barely sixteen years. Now they never will go home. They were boy soldiers, sang the lullaby at sum. They were boy soldiers. Now they never will go home. They were boy soldiers. So young, so fair, they cried, calling for their mothers as they died. They were boy soldiers, sang the lullaby at sum. They were boy soldiers. They never will go home. They were boy soldiers, so young, so fair. They cried, calling for their mothers as they died. Close your eyes and dream. You'll be all right. Mother is here to bid you good night. Close your eyes and dream of beautiful sights. Mother is here holding you tight. Close your eyes. And dream, you'll be all right. Mother is here to bid you good.
late night. That's a beautiful song, Danny. Um, do you know the, the Green Fields of France? By, uh, that's one of my favourite songs. Yeah, yeah. And it reminds me of that. It's yeah. just a great song. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so enough. I'm going to play a happy song. Thank you. <laughs> oh, don't thank me too soon. It's the only happy song I do. <laughs> so Danny and I are going to be playing for about an hour and a bit, an hour and a quarter. You'll get a break, and then you'll need to come back in again because the doors are locked. So, <laughs> so this is a fun song. Um, <laughs> That's right, if you don't come back, you won't get to hear the bagpipes. That's not kind of an incentive, really. <laughs> uh, yes, that's right. Yes, they can take our wine, but they'll never take our whiskey. Or whiskey. <laughs> Whoever I was in the talk. <clears throat> so, um, I don't do cover songs. I just don't play cover songs. Um, and it's just the way it is. I'm, I don't know. But I wrote this song um, called Covers. And it's made up of 23 different song titles. If you can get them all, you can pour me a whiskey at the break. Um, I'll give you a clue. The very first word is, is one of them. Um, yeah. It's a fun song. Yesterday some nowhere man gets back to me He says I want to hold your hand On this long and winding road And I said hey man okie dokie But I ain't no karaoke We can work it out But I think that you should know <clears throat> I don't do covers don't play the songs of others I just sing my songs and I won't give theirs a bash Before you make me walk that line Let me play you one of mine Because Chris and Johnny Sure don't need the cash My suspicious mind Could see her lion eyes my peaceful, easy feeling already gone She said my name's Sweet Caroline And all my friends think I sing fine But they was breaking glass each time she sang those songs That's why I don't do covers I don't play the songs of others I just sing my songs won't give theirs a bash Before you make me walk that line Let me play you one of mine Because Garth and Johnny Sure don't need the cash They want to hear Ventura Highway and There's a sound of silence When I'm living on a prayer Now they want Frankie did it my way Start spreading the news, I just don't care One of these nights, I'll take it easy Maybe learn some songs, go and play that show But if I slip in one of mine you know the boss man would call time And say you better play some songs that we all know But that's why I don't do covers I won't play the songs of others If you want their songs, I'm gonna have to pass Before you make me walk that line Let me play you one of mine because Bruce and Johnny sure don't need the cash Before you make me walk that line 
Let me play you one of mine Because Garth and Bruce and Willie and Waylon and Johnny and Randy Should all need <laughs> the cash <laughs> Now I'll tune the guitar <laughs> Sorry, guys. Some years ago, I was, um, um, I mean, singer songwriters, they, they write songs different times of the day, but <laughs> sometimes it comes in a dream as well. And um, I remember uh, uh, down New Orleans uh, back in the early 90s, I was. I had one of those dreams of, and the, you know, you wake up and wake up, and to write down at three or four o'clock in the morning, start scribbling, you know, and this happened to be a couple of years back when, after Pete Seeger uh, passed away, and uh, I just um, got up and wrote down the words that was in the dream, and uh, I left it alone for quite a while I didn't want to do it you know it's just one of those things because I you know who's going to believe this you know the kind of thing you know you just you start start questioning yourself and stuff so it was with Michael the other last week that's the first time I I did the song you know and I didn't know nobody and the singer songwriters they, they <coughs> it's very rarely you get somebody said ah that was a great song you know so I was uh, I went to a, some kind of a uh, um, or Patty O'Leary's a pub uh, down there afterwards <laughs> and <laughs> I bailed them out the next day <laughs> <laughs> so anyways uh, uh, somebody said oh, yeah, we heard um, we heard the song tonight it was really nice we liked that song about, about uh, Amer- uh, Pete Seeger and the dream so anyways so I'd like to share share it with you tonight if, if you don't mind Last night I had a dream of music Pete sang me a song Like a concert from high heavens With folks I know who had moved on He said they were gathered for a heaven's hoot and nanny Woody and Tommy they were there They sang their songs of peace and justice And our Lord was there He believes we can pull together Sing the world my song We believe we can do this my brother We know they'll sing along They sang hallelujah Hallelujah, the Lord stood up and sang I wish you could hear them sing together All of heavens rang We believe we can pull together Sing the world my song We believe we can do this my brother We know Let's sing along Let the children sing for freedom Their eyes shine so bright Come together, we're all God's children And we all can see the light He believes we can pull together Sing the world my song We believe we can do this, my brother We know that sing along 
So let's join hands and sing together. We'll make this dream come true. It's heaven's hoot nanny. The Lord believes in you. He believes we can pull together. Sing the world my song. We believe we can do this, my brother. We know they'll sing along. Woo! How do you follow that? (laughs) (laughs) That's a great song. Um, The next one's not going to be that lively. (laughs) So, um, as I told you earlier, I was a police officer, worked in prisons and addictions work, all that kind of stuff. My grandpa brought me up. This is a, a, a kind of serious bit, I guess. My father took his life when I was young, so suicide is quite a close thing to me as a as an ex-police officer um, I've dealt with a lot of that kind of stuff friends relatives etc you know all I'm saying is nothing on earth is worth taking your life or nothing on earth no exam no job no partner no boyfriend girlfriend or whatever it is you have today nothing is worth taking your life for speak to somebody um, no matter what debt you're in nothing is worth taking your life for speak to somebody um, speak to anybody if you don't have anybody to speak to my speak to me my card's out there phone me anytime um, so rant over that's just the thing so my grandpa taught me he brought me up and he was a bit of a paradox because he worked in the in the shipyards in Glasgow which is a tough place to work but he was also a classical violinist uh, violinist but, so, so he introduced me to music and um I first listened to classical music and you think, oh. but he made it really interesting. He told me what each instrument was, what the story was about, 1812 Overture, Napoleon and all that kind of stuff, you know. Um, so Elvis, he would listen to Elvis as well. So um, everything, you know, Jim Reeves, there's a guy called Jim Reeves, apparently. I yeah. hear the sound of yeah. distant drums. I remember that. Anyway, so <clears throat> but he taught me about lyrics and also about your what you say and what you say is important. And think about what you say. Um, you've heard of Elvis? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was quite famous over here. Yeah. yeah. So, so do you remember um, Jailhouse Rock? Uh-huh. Yeah. You probably anybody sung it anywhere? <laughs> Karaoke. Okay. So. The warder threw a party at the county jail. I don't think so. <laughs> I've worked in prisons. <laughs> jailbird four said to Jailbird three, "You're the cutest jailbird I ever did see." If somebody says that to you in prison, it's not a good place to be in. <laughs> Tr- trust me on that one. But, but it gets worse. If you can't find a partner, find a wooden chair. And we all sing it. Oh, we you know, uh, I'm just saying, lyrics are important, you know. Um, what, the other one that bugs me is, um, In the jungle, the mighty jungle, No, it doesn't. <laughs> Tigers sleep in the jungle, lions sleep on the plains. You know, if you're going to write a song, do you know what I mean? Um, it's just a wee thing. Just, it's just a wee thing. So this is a song. <laughs> this is a song I wrote for my grandpa, um, Grandpa Jack. Um, I regret as a teenager I didn't spend more time with him. Um, and I think nowadays with the mobile phone and whatever, you see people in restaurants. Do you know, and one day I think, well, my kids look up and I won't be there. Do you know? I think, you know. So anyway, it's called. It's not a sing along one. It's called the empty chair and a dedicate. By the way, just while I remember, in Michigan, in Detroit, there are three people watching this concert right now, called Dan and Dee Dee Kelly and Dan's mum. So I don't know where the cameras are, but hi, you guys. Hey, um, I just love them to bits. Um, they are the reason I'm in America playing music. So it's their fault. <laughs> Sorry, Danny, um, but they have a, a ranch up in Comfort called uh, near Comfort called Heaven Sent Ranch, and that's what my new album's about. It's called Heaven Sent Ranch. Um, if it wasn't for them, I just wouldn't be doing this. Um, they're in Michigan because Dan's ninety-eight-year-old mum 
God bless her, had been ill and she's home now and they're looking after her. So the good songs are in the second half. <laughs> Wherever you are. <laughs> but Dan loves the song. It's called uh, The Empty Chair. In the old chair by the fire he spoke of Jesus and of God. He said, it's up to you which road you travel on. Just treat your fellow man the way you want him to treat you. And if you live this way, you really can't go wrong. From his chair he'd tell us stories, make us laugh and dry our tears. Play his music, teach us how to sing along. Talk with us and listen to our worries and our fears. But one day without warning he was gone. The old man was the kindest that I have ever known. I regret the times I didn't seem to care. Through our teenage years he missed us, but he never let it show. I woke up one day to see he wasn't there. Just an empty chair. Years go by, I understand exactly how he felt And the times he would have loved to see my face Through their teenage years I missed them But I never let it show But this world they're in has taken up my place In the evenings at the window From a battered leather chair My eyes switch from the street back to the phone But it never rings And no one calls to ask me how I am one day without warning I'm alone Did I try to be the kindest man a child could ever know And be there when the world just didn't care Through their teenage years I missed them But I never let it show Well they wake up one day to see that I'm not there Just an empty chair Michael, thank you. Um, <clears throat> now, as we as we go to the uh, our passage of life, you know, uh, uh, we have every each and every one of us. We have our ups and downs, in one way or the other, you know, and um, uh, sometimes. Uh, uh, the road, the journey, our journey. Sometimes, it's up to ourselves to to make it better, you know. And um, we have a choice in that ourselves. And um, sometimes, you know, we blame others for our downfalls. And you know, we have partners in life, and uh, we just sometimes we make the wrong choices. That doesn't make these people bad people it's just the fact they need to be with someone they're supposed to be with mm. and my my life uh, I had not met my soulmate yet till about 10 years ago and um, and um, I wished we had gone back in the years and we were together and all that it's so easy when you're with the person you're supposed to be with and uh, so I wrote a song for my wife uh, Lisa who's not uh, not with us tonight but she is uh, she couldn't make it she's not a little bit under the weather she just lost her dad and and her mom mm. and uh, so she's um, as I say in the grieving uh, uh, period uh, and um, so I thought maybe uh, I would I've, I wasn't going to do this tonight, but I thought, well, maybe she's going to watch this, maybe, hopefully, and and yeah. I'll do it for her. But anyways. Yeah. Sure. You are my soul. You are my light. 
My sunshine, day and night, you're my path of love. Sent from high above, you, my soul angel, by my side. You're my bright star. In the sky, you're my night and day. Let me fly with you tonight across the hillsides of Torbay. You are my eyes. You are my miracle of life. You're my breath of air. You're my shore to shore. Forever in the wind. My star in the sky, you're my night and day. Let me fly with you tonight across the hillsides of Torbay. And yours to mine. We were always meant to be before our time. You're my everything. You're the song I sing till the end of time. I'll wear your ring. You're my bright star in the sky. You're my night and day. Let me fly with you tonight across the hillsides. Of Torbay. <laughs> When you were playing that song, I was just watching this young couple here, and um, I couldn't I couldn't help but take a picture. How long have you guys been married? Sixty four years. Woo! Oh, <laughs> amazing! Absolutely amazing. Uh, yeah, um, but you still look so much in love. <laughs> I couldn't do without. You. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, in, in, in Scotland we tried a tip jar and people were putting notes in like, lose weight, grow your hair. It's not... 
<laughs> so I, I, I can wait till you guys are finished. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it's not that kind of tip jar. Although any help would be appreciated. But, uh, <laughs> so this is my last song for this first set. Um, so the, the truth behind this song is my mum's 92, right? And um, she still drives. <laughs> She's sharp as a tack. But a few years ago she wasn't well and I wrote this song for her. It was called Until We Meet Again, but she didn't die. <laughs> so I had to change the lyric from You Are My Mother to You Are My Lover. <laughs> but it could be You Are My Brother, My Mother, My Lover. Um, but, it's, but it is really for absent friends. Not mum, because she's not absent. Um, she comes out with... Have you heard of malaprops? You know, she comes out with things like... When one door closes, another one shuts. You know, things like that, you know. Uh, we never had any of these Lebanese women when I was a girl. So, Mum, her, her good friend's husband died and she sent a text, she's writing the text, and really sorry, LOL. I think it means lot. yeah, she thinks it means lots of love, do you know. Um, she thought WTF means why the frown. <laughs> so we got we got our cable TV. Uh, we got our cable TV for the first time. She was dead against it, and I said, "Mum, it means you can you can watch all your soaps and all that kind of thing. And if you need to go make a cup of tea, you can pause it." And she goes, "What about everybody else, though?" <laughs> said, no. She's but they'll all, you know they'll all know that I'm I've gone to the toilet or I went mean, no you know when you when you when you pause it pause it they it's just yours you pause no I know but see, anyway so this is called until we meet again and you can place whoever you want in this circle but it is, it is a sad song also some religions light a candle to commemorate the death of somebody so yeah anyway oh. One more thing, most important. Yeah. There's merchandise out on the table there. I don't know how much you're selling your CDs for. I'm giving them away free. Oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, no. mine are $10 each, or you can get four for $50. So it's a great, really... <laughs> <laughs> My, my grandpa told me there are only three kinds of people in the world, those that can count and those that can't. So, uh, yeah. But feel free to... to it's a new album. Um, Danny's got loads of CDs there. Um, this is called Until We Meet Again. There's a candle on the table One who slipped away And I cry when I am able But the world gets in the way I hear you calling in the wind and rain I hear your laughter everywhere Your perfume fills the air each night I know that you're not there You are my lover And you are my friend There'll never be another Until we meet again Outside the snow has fallen Peace on earth to every man and our friends, they keep on calling I know they're doing the best they can Their cards and gifts unopened You're not there to hold my hand All I wanted was your presence But they don't understand You were my lover you are my best friend I'll never be another
until we meet again There's a candle on the table The one who slipped away And I cry when I am able But the world gets in the way Hmm Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Um, this is an this is, as I say, a little song for you. And we'll and we'll take a short intermission, and um, we are so delighted that you have all have come here tonight to support yeah. us, and uh, the wonderful works that's been done by Ellen and uh, Randy for all of us. Yeah. 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 Indeed, yeah, so, so we. I often wonder how angels fly, what heaven does when they say goodbye. If they visit while we're asleep, or maybe standing by our souls to keep. Early in the morning I heard a little sound Something different was hanging around A small boy says your hand is warm Pocket angels keep you from harm An angel for your pocket Helping me and you They're there to guide us No matter what we do When sadness comes along Reach down deep inside The pocket of your heart Is where your angel hides I didn't know angels were small Oh yes, there's the angel, some grow tall I was made little to be with you Keep away the hurt, that's what angels do And of course, everyone an angel for your pocket Helping me and you They're there to guide us No matter what we do When sadness comes along Reach down deep inside The pocket of your heart Is where your angel hides An angel for your pocket Helping me and you They're there to guide us No matter what we do When sadness comes along Reach down deep inside The pocket of your heart Is where your angels hide Sure the Lord knows when you're in need With a blink of his eye An angel you'll see Maybe for your pocket, reach inside the pocket of your heart for your angels hide. There you go now. An angel for your pocket, helping me and you. They're there to guide us, no matter what we do. When sadness comes along, reach down deep inside the pocket of your heart is where your angel hides. 